thrift card is here. So this thrift card is all about growth. You know, so an individual that's very strong because, you know, they went through a lot. And um, whatever they went through, it didn't kill them. It just made them grow. So this whole entire, you know, ordeal, they were being, you know, called to have strength. So they could grow. Knight of Pentacles is here. A lot of people wanted to, you know, slow you down. They wanted to have all things coming in slow for you because of how strong you are. And, you know, you could have ghosted these people. Five of Pentacles is here. I left them feeling out in the cold, physically, mentally, and spiritually. As they was, you know, possibly draining your energy. And you didn't understand why you left them out in the cold or you didn't want anything to do with them. You just felt drained around different people. And you kind of just sailed away, Six of Swords. You were being divinely guided to sail away from these people. Because they no longer serve purpose in your life. You started focusing on your finances, King of Pentacles. Nurturing yourself. Being loyal to yourself. Building a stable foundation, stability for yourself. You know, maintaining your businesses. Being more money oriented. And working hard. For whatever it is that you want out of life. Yeah, the destiny, the will of fortune is here. You started walking in your destiny and in your purpose. You realized a lot of people could not go with you. That's why this five of pentacles is here. They felt left out in the cold. King of wands is here. Because you were chasing after whatever it is you want out of life. You were just going after whatever it is that you wanted out of life. Whatever goals that you have set. You chase after them. These possibly are people that didn't have anything going for their life. So it's like they seen you doing something and they wanted to slow you down. Because they seen you sailing away. Seeing you working hard. Seeing you have a heavy passion to go towards whatever it is you want out of life. And they felt left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. They thought they would sit back and slow you down. Knight of Pentacles, and then you would feel left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. It did not work. You stood up by yourself on this strength card, and you didn't do nothing but grow. Yeah, Eight of Wands is here. There's a lot of people that wanted to come towards you quick. Or they, you know, wanted to message you quick. Eight of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands is here. They see you going towards, moving quick towards, you know, this new beginning. Whatever venture you will start in Ace of Wands. They just see you going towards positivity. Leaving everything that don't, you know, no longer serve purpose in your life out in the cold. Page of Wands is here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles and Page of Wands. So it's like somebody wants to communicate with you because they see you, you know, as someone that minds your business. You can stand on your own two feet. You don't need any help. You're someone that's, you know, very independent, sufficient, abundant, a business owner, and somebody that know what they want out of life. They don't just give their self to anybody, physically, mentally, or spiritually, and or sexually. And um, you stand out by yourself. And that's how you, you know, this person see you. And they want to, you know, contact you or come in some type of communication with you with this page of wands. They could want to send you a message. Yeah, the fool card is here. They see you on a journey. You took a leap of faith towards a new path and this person wants to come towards you. 
High Priestess is here. Yeah, and then Knight of Swords is here. So, this person wants to come towards you. But they want to keep it hidden because... Could be somebody that's mad with this Knight of Swords. Because this person wants to come towards you. They're trying to, you know, possibly figure out a way to come towards you because somebody is mad. Yeah, this could be someone that they're at the Four of Pentacles with being stingy with time, money, and energy. And they're holding back from this person. Whoever this person is, they're an energy vampire and a reptilian. And they're mad because they can no longer drain this person for time, money, and energy. And they think by being mad, that's going to have some type of control over, you know, the way people move. And got this person thinking that they should be, you know, doing something secretly. This person don't have control over their self and don't have control over, you know, nobody else. But they think as they sit back, you know, in anger and in rage with no life, not focusing on their self, that they have some type of control. They want this person to be, you know, in fear or in secret. You're not in fear. You're not someone that sit back to, that has to hide anything from anyone. But this person, you know, know somebody or know of somebody that's, you know, at the Knight of Swords mad. It could be coming in quick trying to lie on this person about something because they're mad. Just because they started holding back from this person, being stingy with time, money, and energy. So they're sitting back mad trying to figure out how can they destroy this person? How can they destroy this person on their new path? Just psychotic and sad and don't have a life. You get that mad because you can no longer use a person. So you sit back and think that you can, you know, have control over a person with gossip and slander. This is what whoever this mad person, you know, is. And that's why this, per this person is the type of person. The reason why they want to keep stuff hidden is because. They don't want this person to ruin anything or come in and say anything. They don't even want this person to talk to you or be around you. They don't even want to be around this person. They're at the five of cups in regret for even meeting this person or associating themselves with this person. They're embarrassed. They don't even want people to know that they knew this person or was attached to this person. It's what I'm hearing. Yeah. This is somebody that was, you know, tripping over cups and playing with stuff they know nothing about. They could be mad because the spell don't didn't work. Whatever they were trying to keep hidden. Yeah, they couldn't place a love spell or a love spell on this person. This person is not in love with them. King of Cups in the reverse. And they're sitting back mad because whatever they were trying to do, it didn't work. It just made them, this person, be at the Four of Pentacles. Stand you with time, money, and energy. Uninterested in them. And they don't get this as they pick up stuff blinded, playing with stuff they know nothing about. And then sit back and get mad and try to take it out on other people when they should be looking in the mirror and healing whatever it is, whatever it is that they need to heal that had them place something in somebody's food to be attracted to them. Just sick. And trifling. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. They didn't want this person to be in love with you. And you didn't have to do anything to place nothing on this person to be attracted to you. You stood up in your own energy. Strength is here. You're at the nine of pentacles, upright, single, sufficient, abundant boss, respecting yourself. And this person is the total opposite and they got mad. Knight of swords. Could have ran in quick with some gossip about you. And lies. All because they sat back at the page of pentacles, got a reading or something on you. Found out who you were to that person. Found out who, who you are as a person and they could not stand it. This is a trifling, disgusting person. Got mad because you and your person are equal. A coward. That's why they got to do stuff in secret. Yeah, they're sitting back at the Ten of Wands, weighed down, pressured, and burdened. A lot of stuff in their face that they could not see and a lot of stuff on their back that they could not weigh. And they're running in circles throughout life, constantly just racking up karma, doing stupid stuff. Playing with spell work over their self, that was hidden and they didn't know. The person that they went to or however they learned how to do it, they didn't give them no research. These people were playing them just trying to get money. 
because that's all they have been doing to your person, just playing them, trying to get money. So it just immediately backfired tenfold. And they don't get that as they run around her at the Five of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, Eight of Cups is here. A lot of people don't have walked away from this person because they're toxic. They don't have nothing going for themselves. They don't have a life. And they're mad because people are walking away from them. You're weighing yourself down, constantly worried about stuff you shouldn't be worried about. Go and get you a job. You that mad you can't control a person to have them do what you want, do what they do what you say. You don't even do what you say. You can't, you don't even control of yourself. The devil has control over you. If you sitting back playing with spell work and wishing ill will on someone else, not want them to go towards whatever they want out of life. That's why you can't go towards whatever you want out of life. And you can't have nothing for your life. Sitting back worried about stuff you shouldn't be worried about and worried about people you shouldn't be worried about. Yeah, the world is here. That was a, a cycle that needed to be completed. A karmic cycle that person didn't even know they were in. This could have been you that was in this karmic cycle and you didn't even know you were in this cycle. Cycle had to be completed, but you had to walk away at the Eight of Cups first for it to be completed. Yeah, Two of Cups is here. This person knew that you and this person were supposed to work together or partner up with each other. And y'all will come together, you know, with the same feelings for each other. And this person couldn't stand that because they were too determined trying to, you know, determined to try to get you to be in love with them. King of Cups in the reverse. And the more and more they tried to get you to be in love with them with spell work, they were in regret at the Five of Cups because it did not work. It worked on them. And that's it. And that's the lesson that they had to learn. They were sitting back in an illusion and confusion under a spell in love with somebody that don't have no love for them. You get what you put out. You wanted this person to sit back and be in love. This person wanted your person or you to sit back and be in love with them and they don't really love you. So it's like they got what they put out. You sitting back under a spell in love with somebody and they don't have no love for you. Equal give and take. She's your chronicles. Yeah, nine of cups is here. This person is sitting back watching you as, you know, wish fulfillment, nine of cups. This person thought they would sit back and get drunk, get high, overindulge in the spell work, and that's how their life will be for the rest of their life. This person is mentally unstable, and they need, you know, professional help. Your person couldn't give them help. You couldn't give them help. Any, no tarot card reader or whoever they were going to to get spell work done, they couldn't help them. This is someone who needs professional help. Yeah, Page of Swords is here. They were being watched. So it's like they intentionally did something. They were sitting back just watching and observing. And didn't know they were being watched and observed. Page of Swords. Yeah, the moon card is here. That was a secret. They didn't know. They were too busy thinking that they were secretly watching you. You get what you put out tenfold. <laughs> Yeah, nine of ones is here. And it's like, whatever they, you know, was left doing, they did something over and over again, and they were being watched. Page of, uh, Page of Swords, the Moon Car, and nine of wands. They did something over and over and over again, and they didn't even know that they were being watched, playing with the spell work. This is sad, bro. Yeah, Page of Cups in the reverse. This is someone that don't have no emotions. They just don't care. This is somebody that do stuff and they don't apologize for it. They don't care. And it's like Ten of Pentacles is here. You're sitting in your generational wealth. And this is a, your ancestors. They're not going to accept this person's apology because this person did something over and over again. They intentionally did this to you. Out of hate and jealousy. So if they tried to come and apologize to you, they wouldn't even be able to come to, you know, come around you to apologize, whoever this person is. That set back plan with spell work over and over again. Your ancestors don't have no remorse for this person at all. They intentionally did this, but they thought it was going to stay hidden with the moon. Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. 
You chose to take care of yourself, love yourself, and finally, you know, start showing yourself some love. This person sat back and thought they would have somebody in love with them under a spell. And it didn't work. Yeah, four of swords. See, that situation had to be laid to rest. That person isolated their self. Either you or your person isolated the, you, you, yourself from that person. And started healing and cleansing. Rehabilitating and reevaluating life. Yeah, four of wands is here and that person was unstable. They were left unstable. They could not come back around you. They could not come in union with you. Because they didn't want you and your person to come in union with, you know, each other because y'all share the same soul. So it's like equal give and take. Whatever happened, whatever they wanted to manifest for you and your person not to have. And that's, you know, it's still here, this Ten of Pentacles. They're, you know, manifesting everything that they didn't want y'all to have tenfold. Equal give and take. Yeah, two of swords is here. They're sitting back, you know, wanting to blind everybody from the truth. But it did not work. They're at the two of swords blinded. They're blinded to the fact that they were being watched. They sat back blinded playing with spell work being watched over and over again. They didn't know. Yeah, tower. They're getting ready to experience a tower moment and they don't even know this. They were too busy sitting back watching you. Watching your person. Trying to do something over and over again and they were placing it on their self. Yeah, out of hate and jealousy. Three of Wands is here. And Ten of Swords. There, this Three of Wands is like, you know, all about making a decision and sitting back waiting for your ships to come in. Three of Wands and Ten of Swords. This person made a decision to do this. Um, they didn't do nothing but pin their self down for harsh, painful endings. So if they play some type of, you know, hit side on you in the physical realm, in the spiritual realm, in your person, they made a decision to do that to their self. And they're getting ready to experience this tower moment. 